So the MQ-2 that's inside this HS-101 BLT gas, do-it-yourself gas analyzer, is proving itself to be quite the workhorse. So in the demo video, it showed that it could readily detect hydrocarbons, vapors from gasoline where they don't belong and very useful for auto diagnostics, right? It was my hope from the beginning that we'd be able to also detect carbon dioxide, also an important gas in automotive work. Okay, so we'll let the auto offset feature of the HCO Pro calibrate to zero. So we're at zero percent. And we're measuring here at the exhaust. We're at 10 percent, 11, 12 percent, 15 percent, 16. And it's going to settle out around the 15 percent which is what uh, these expensive uh, analyzers would uh, kind of read at this position. So the key to this carbon dioxide work is to allow the module to settle down for a longer period of time before taking measurements compared to what we were doing in the demo for detecting hydrocarbons. For hydrocarbons, 90 second wait for the module to settle down and to take measurements is fine. But for carbon dioxide work, it's important to give it five, six, seven minutes to really settle down and then take measurements. Now for full disclosure guys, like, you know, this is not a high-end unit, like we have to make some allowance, right? It's not perfect, but it's pretty damn good. And uh, the ability to detect uh, CO2 uh, leads us to be able to do this. From the get-go, the hope was to have this uh, HS101 BLT gas be able to detect combustion byproducts that would have found their way into the coolant from a defective head gasket. By the time you get a bunch of bubbling over from a bad head gasket into your coolant tank as the engine is running, this would be kind of late stage detection. And those chemical test kits uh, like this one that uh, changes color uh, when exposed to the carbonic acid uh, that's here with the engine running and you're squeezing the bulb uh, it's kind of a mid-stage detection of an issue. To get early stage, you need to have a gas analyzer. And those corporate ones will run you maybe 4000 bucks. It would be nice to have a $40 DIY gas analyzer do that. And I've actually found that it's best if you allow the engine to be cool to room temperature to do this test. Uh, I think you might get some high readings if everything is really hot here. So let's measure this airspace that's in the coolant reservoir and see what kind of measurement we get for carbon dioxide. Give it a little bit of time to reach the measurement chamber. Getting 2%. and it's pushing 4%. So does reading 4% here, when the engine is cold, uh, signify that there's an issue with this vehicle? Well, I, I don't think so. And uh, to keep things in perspective, my breath alone on here would register 3%. It is more telling of how sensitive HS101 BLT gas is than it is uh, telling us that there's an issue with this engine. So how would I get a reservoir with coolant that would have had some combustion byproducts percolate through it for a demonstration here? By baking up a batch, I've used a funnel and a hose and I've percolated some exhaust gases through there for a minute, minute and a half or so. Carbon dioxide is odorless, colorless, uh, and dissolves well. So if there was anything in that airspace, it's now in the liquid. And the liquid itself is clean looking. Let's measure it. 4%, 5%, 8% rising, 12% rising, 14, 17%, 20%, 24%, 26 and counting, 27. Okay, clearly 
a problem, right? And detected by HS101 BLT, detecting the CO2. It's important to remember that this was at room temperature, this was at room temperature. If you do these tests when uh, everything is warm, I think you're going to get false positives. So everything is cool. So I'm pleased as punch with those results. Talk to you guys soon.